Hello friends, are these rocks meteorite? Are they valuable? Are all meteorite the same shape? What is the price of the meteorite? I will answer this question now. Look at this stone, it is very heavy. It does not attract magnets, so this is not iron ore, nickel or cobalt. This one has effect similar to fusion, but it is a type of hematite that is adjacent to lime, so this stone cannot be a meteorite. This one looks like a meteorite because of its sun shell. There are many rocks like this on Earth. The presence of small spots on the stone is not a criterion. And this is also an Earth mineral. Friends, this stone is also earthly and it is very abundant. Many people think it is a meteorite, but it is cobalt and may also contain platinum. Sometimes it is also found with gold or antimony. It looks molten, but it is not a meteorite. This is also on Earth's sun. It is strong and heavy, not easily cut. This is also abundant in the Earth. This stone contains titanium and does not dissolve easily in acid. This stone is a little different. Sometimes it attracts the magnet and sometimes it doesn't. It is very strong. It is not cut or crushed and it does not react in any acid. It did not change in the flame heat of 1500 degrees. However, it may not be a meteorite. This stone is also similar to the previous one. What are scientists looking for? They look for signs of life. Even if it's a bacterium, it's still important. A meteorite can come from anywhere. It may even come from outside the system. A meteor may also contain disease. What is why it is important to know what a meteorite carries? So a meteorite can come from anywhere in the galaxy. I will tell you more in the next video. Please like if it was useful.